Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm back chilling again in my living room and today I'm going to show you how to make a chocolate sponge. It's very, very similar to my vanilla cake, just a couple of differences. So I'm going to go straight into this video. Before we do anything, we're going to preheat our oven to 170 degrees centigrade and I'll put the Fahrenheit temperature in the description box below because I'm not too sure of it at this moment in time. So for this recipe, you're going to be needing some butter, some sugar, eggs, egg yolks, some room temperature milk and double cream. The reason why I'm adding in double cream for this recipe is just because Cocoa powder can make your cakes quite dry, so I find that adding a little bit extra fat in there makes my cakes a little bit more moist. And then in this bowl, I've got some flour, cocoa powder, baking powder, and salt. And I know it's not in frame, but I also have some vanilla extract as well. If you want to know the measurements for all these ingredients, make sure you check out the description box below. Ow. So very similar for my vanilla cake, I'm gonna put my sugar, my butter, and my vanilla extract in my mixer. I'm gonna beat that for about five minutes. So this is a creamed cake. What happens when you're creaming, it basically punches the sugar into the butter and that creates nice little air pockets What's gonna make our cakes nice and fluffy and rise really, really well. You're looking for it to not have changed too much in color, but for it all to be incorporated. And you're gonna add in your eggs one at a time at a medium speed. The reason why I'm adding the eggs in one at a time is if I added them all in at once, then it will sort of break that emulsification and it will split. And once you sort of do that, you're not incorporating any more in air into your mixture. So it's not going to be as fluffy as it could be. If it does look a little bit split, by the way, you can add a little bit of flour in there to help bind it together again. And then I'm gonna add in my egg yolks all in at once until it's nice and smooth. And now I'm going to start adding in my flour and milk. So I put about a third of that flour mixture into my mixture until it's nice and combined. And I put in half of that lukewarm milk into my mixture. And then a third of my flour mixture. Half of my milk. And then the rest of my flour mixture. I'm gonna line a cake tin, which is super simple. I just get a little bit of oil on a pastry brush, go around the sides, and then I'm gonna make a circle out of parchment paper and put it in the center. I then put my cake batter into my cake tin and smooth it out with a palette knife. And then to get rid of any excess air that's in there, I just, I just get a palette knife, make a few slashes, and then give my cake a good few bangs on my work surface and then I'm gonna pop that straight into the oven. I'm gonna bake it for about 45 to 50 minutes. You know your cake's done if you give it a light poke and it springs backwards. Well, like, not literally, like, it springs away, but, like, it goes back up. And that's how I make my chocolate cake. It's really, really simple, really moist, and totally delicious. I hope you liked this recipe, and if you did, then please give me a like. Subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this and share this video with your friends if you think they might like it. That's it for me today, so until the next video, take care and bye.